G'day, this is Simon from The Bracketeer at a perfect day here at South OC Castle Coffee. Check out that Southern California weather. It, is, it could not be better. Great turnout. We've got some really interesting stuff going on. We've got the guys from Polestar offering test drives of their really nice looking P2. We've got one of those behind us we'll check out in a moment. If you want to do a test drive, go to polestar.com and you can sign up for those. Uh, we've also got a couple of the old trikes as well, which uh, we've managed to put side by side, which is really great to see an old Morgan being one of them. So, and a motor goes in the other one. So that's cool as well. Hey, enough of me talking, let's check it all out. So here are the pole stars. This is the P1. I know I've shown this over the last few weeks, but a couple of interesting little pieces about this particular car. This is actually all carbon fiber and it's about 620 horsepower. So not only lightweight, but it gets up and goes as well, but it looks great too. As we were saying yesterday on the video, we interviewed Greg, who's the head of Polestar North America. I mean, Polestar are deeply entrenched in motorsports. So these are not cars that are built by people who are trying to build electronic gadgets. These are cars built by car guys, for people who like both technology and they like car DNA as well. So there's the uh, P1. This is the P2 here, this is the model you can test drive, and then another beautiful P1 over here. This is not something we get to see every day. Look at these two trikes side by side. That's a Morgan. And then this guy here has actually got a motor guzzi engine in it. It's so great. They're great little cars. If you watch the original Top Gear with Clarkson Hammond and Captain Slow, you may remember Hammond building around in one of these and try to actually do a, do a donut in one. But what a great looking little car. Look at the instrumentation. It's very aeronautical uh, inspired. Obviously, this thing's designed to look like a fighter jet. And then next to it, the motor guzzy. How great to see two of these side by side. Really awesome. Funny story, this Saab belongs to Bob, one of our volunteers. You may remember I showed his Thunderbird last week. <laughs> he got here this morning, he said, this is a 92 Saab, it's haunted. Every time I get in it and drive it, which isn't that often, it can be months, the first thing that comes on the radio is Nirvana. That is spooky. So Bob's haunted Saab that obviously uh, Kurt Cobain <laughs> haunts. Very, very funny. Another one of our volunteers' cars, this has been a car of the week. This is this beautiful 1958 Fiat Multipla. Um, belongs to Hal. This thing is so special. I just love this car. Believe it or not, it seats uh, seven, I believe. <laughs> Isn't it great? So tiny. Really cool car. Uh, it's a pretty cool high ride. Check it out. It looks like a uh, Boyd Coddington. Um, design, obviously fiberglass body with some of the curves that are on it, but it's got it's a it's a typical era from you know probably the uh, early 2000s I'm guessing, given those wheels and it, it's, that style was sort of in, but very neat, nicely done, running a big block, very nice. Jeff, who owns this car, was telling me he has owned this thing since new, and he actually. He's standing over there. He actually brought, brought his daughter home 
from hospital in this car. Isn't that a great story? Really nice car, L78, 375 horsepower, big block saying on there. 20,000 mile former drag racing car too, which is great, isn't it? So how cool to own a 1966 car from new. And next to it, check this beautiful uh, GT350 out. Isn't that great? Also very, very nice. This one's for sale. Is this for a couple of British classics. Beautiful little TR3 here, showing off those uh, twin uh, SU carburetors over there. And the next one, this beautiful MG, I think this is a TF. Chocolate brown color. You know, I looked at this earlier, the owner brought it for me over to have a look at it. Love the fact that all the gauges were the shape of the old MG logo. Great classic old car, wonderful sports car. Isn't this beautiful? Check that out. Small block chef.
just sitting off in the side lot. This thing, we've made this a car of the week winner before as well. Really, really cool track car. A lot of work done on this. Look at that injection system. So, nicely done. Massive rubber on the back. Here's a good view for you. I'm a big fan of this Triumph Bobber. I will have one of these in my garage one day. What a great motorcycle. It looks so retro and yet all of the, the mod cons as well. Great looking motorcycle. Great riding position as well. Absolutely love it. All of the current Triumphs are absolutely awesome. The Bonneville, really nice motorcycle as well. Thruxton, the Thruxton R. But this one's the one for me. Really love it. Very nice. for another week at South OC Cars and Coffee. What a great turnout. Some really interesting things this morning. A big thank you to our sponsors, to Polestar. If you didn't get a chance to drive one of their cars this morning, don't worry, you can still sign up. Go to polestar.com. I highly recommend it. Amazing machines. To Meguiar's and the Next Level Detailing, we really appreciate you guys as well. Thank you so much. To all of our volunteers, we could not do the show without you, so thanks again for giving up your time. To the Atlas of San Clemente for allowing us to be there. A big thank you to Steve, the owner of the Atlas, who was actually there today. He's a car guy himself. He's got a 280Z that he has owned since new that he's completely restored. So we hope to get to see that one day at, at South OC Cars and Coffee. To Rockwells and the Rubies for bringing out the coffee and the donuts. Thanks so much, guys. And to all of you for tuning in. Really appreciate that as well. Don't forget to click subscribe. We'll see you back here next week for another South OC Cars and Coffee.